No matter who wins next month, South Dakota's next governor will have financial ties to people in the Gear Up scandal. Kelloland's Kelly Volk joins us from the newsroom to explain. Kelly? Well, Brady, you may have already noticed the campaigns for Republican Christy Nome and Democrat Billy Sutton are criticizing each other for this. Nome took $750 from former state education secretary Rick Melmer and $300 from state Indian education director Keith Moore. The two men later served on a panel overseeing Gear Up. Melmer and Moore didn't report the hours they worked. That caught the attention of the State Department of Legislative Audit, audit which led them to look deeper into the organization. Meanwhile, Sutton took $7,000 from defense lawyer Clint Sargent. He represented Stephanie Hubers, who was found not guilty in her trial. Sutton also received $4,000 from defense lawyer Michael Butler. He represented Dan Gurkey, who pleaded guilty to one corruption charge last month. For more information on the Gear Up trials, head to Kelloland.com. Thanks, Kelly. And you know what? We still need your questions ahead of our debates. We are just one week away from our U.S. House debate between candidates Tim Bjorkman and J Dusty Johnson. They will join us live in our studio for a debate at 7 p.m. Then the gubernatorial candidates Christy Nome and Billy Sutton will join us for a debate on the 23rd. If you have a question for the candidates, please email them to us at candidatequestions at kelloland.com.